Everybody, and welcome back to Thunder and Lightning Gaming Podcast. I'm Thunder. And I'm Lightning. Chris. Yes. Uh, tell me about your week, and then I'm going to tell you about my week, and then I'm going to yell and yell and yell and yell about the news. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> my week was good. Um, pretty uneventful. Uh, hung out with Pauline a lot. Uh, caught up on... Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh yes, let's talk about it a little. Sure, I'm episode, liking it. Episode two, I thought was a lot better. Yes, than episode yes. one. I uh, definitely because episode they, one dragged a little bit, right? It dragged, but they also didn't meet up. Right. I was like, <laughs> so Falcon and then Winter Soldier. Right. Is kind of what we're doing right now. Right. I thought when spoilers, I guess I thought when he was with that old Asian dude. I thought that that was going to be like one of his war buddies. I know, right? Did you also think that? I didn't go that far, but I was like, oh, they're relatively the same age. Right, right, <laughs> right. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it so far. I, re- I mean, this is on purpose, but I really dislike the new. Dude, oh my Captain god, America what an dude. asshole! I know. He's, he's. He's really hateable, and that's oh, what yeah. I love about him. And that's totally intentional. And um, he he's done nothing to earn anything he has. Right. Little bitch wouldn't even get the serum. Kel- well, that's the thing. Kelsey w- actually, I uh, was texting her about it the other Kelsey. day. Kelsey. Kelsey. What did I say? Kelsey. Did I? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I was well. just being funny. Uh, my good friend, Corsley, uh, <laughs> she said that... um. Her theory is that a uh, new dude is going to find out that there's still serum out there and then turn evil and try to take it for himself because he's like, well, I'm not a super soldier, but I right. can be. Right. Um, that's It's definitely still out there because that little girl, not little girl, she's like our age, but that right. woman yeah. has it. Called her a little girl because everybody who's a super soldier at this point is in their 40s. Right. Um, they that scene they uh uh Kelsey pointed this out to me too. That scene where they were in that dude's house yeah and, and he was also a super soldier. Um they showed his like old ass face and then he threw the thing and then they zoomed out, they showed his totally ripped, totally crazy body. <laughs> and it was just like, Oh shit. Um Oh, I also I also didn't expect episode two to like get into a race the way it did. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, like a really realistic depiction of how cops treat oh, black people. Sh- oh shit! Yeah, I forgot about that scene. Yeah, no kidding, no kidding. That was that was effed up. Yeah. Um, but it was cool that they're tackling stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, on Even on a, on a Marvel b- thing. Bank in the first episode. Did, yes. It w- yeah. didn't quite um hit like the cops did. They didn't. They didn't quite point the finger. Right. Uh, but it was. It was still in that same vein. Yeah, yeah, um, totally. No, I'm liking it. I'm really excited yeah. for uh, for Zemo. That um, new Captain America sidekick, yeah. I guess his comic book version um, has a has a rough backstory in Marvel history. Okay, uh, a lot of racist stuff oh, okay. involved with that character. Yeah, I also, never I never heard of him. I looked him up. I think his name is Battlestar. Yep, yep. Uh, Elijah, the old black guy yeah was black captain america in the comic oh really he's actually he was captain america oh that's cool i did not know that that is cool i did not know that was a comic book character i did like that scene where the kid was like you're black falcon (laughs) he's like so what are you black kid (laughs) right no it, it, Uh. it was cool that that guy playing uh what did you call him isaiah Elijah, Elijah. I his name is. Um, it might be. Uh, I think it's Elijah. The guy playing Elijah is the longtime voice actor for Martian Manhunter. Oh yeah. In all like uh, animated DC stuff, and they got him to play because Martian Manhunter is a main character on Supergirl. Yeah. They got him to play Martian Manhunter's dad on Supergirl. So I saw him. I was like, oh, I know this dude. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, besides that, uh, making music, working. Um, me and Pauline just uh, did our first draft of the outline for book two, which <laughs> is exciting. Okay. Just because we already have the story done for book one. We know exactly what's going to happen. Now it's just a matter of writing it all out. All right. So we just did a rough draft. We're half. It seems like we're like halfway done with chapter five. So, I mean, things are moving along. Yeah. But what did uh, I read? Four chapters, right? You read up to four. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Chapter five is almost done. Um, I got to say, I, I told you this, but like a couple weeks ago, I had the like very candid thought of like, I yeah. should... I should I should read more of that. And I was like, oh, I can't. That's what we want. <laughs> um, I can already tell book two is going to kick hard okay. at the end. Like, it's it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited. I mean, book one is going to be cool, too. But, like, yeah. book two is going to be our Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> and uh, Well, that is the second Star Wars movie. Yeah. So I'm, Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, you got it. I'm excited. Um, tell me about your week. I didn't do shit. I want to talk about um <laughs> something that happened not to me, but something that happened um that I care about a lot. And we've talked about this before, uh, but I want to talk about uh cancel culture. Yeah. Because it's it's hit a celebrity uh that's that's very dear to me. So here's what happened. Game Grumps. Yeah. Fellow Let's Players Game Grumps, which is a crazy thing to say because we have, like, four fans and they have, like, millions. Uh, but, uh, as we all know, it's two people. One of them's Ego Raptor, the old animator, and one of them's Dan from Ninja Sex Party. Yeah. And th- with anybody who gets a lot of fame, there are to be people who dislike them. Mm-hmm. So there's a whole, like, Game Grumps hate subreddit that that's just fun. like all they do is like oh fuck these guys or it's uh, whatever um i've always liked game grumps i just want to say that uh they i i haven't been watching them as much as i used to i used to hold it uh as a badge of honor that i've seen every episode of game grumps uh but i have not done that i i cannot say that anymore because i kind of fell off but occasionally they'll occasionally they'll upload something that I'm pretty into. So I'm still a fan, but not as much as I used to be. Sure. But anyways, Dan from Game Grumps. Somebody was basically like, Dan from Game Grumps is a pedophile, and he's grooming his young fans and all this super bad stuff that if it was true, uh, then (laughs) this guy sucks. Um, And it spread really fast over the Twitter and Reddit and all that stuff. Um, And essentially... That the the story, as far as I can tell, was he he was doing pedo pedophilic. Is that a word? I think so. He he was he was engaging in intercourse with underage fans, essentially. Oh. But that's not what happened at all. Here's what happened. Th- there was one girl who this story was about. She was 17. Okay, she was a month away from being 18. That's when they meet. Mm-hmm. A month later, he wishes her happy birthday on Twitter. Four years later, she's 22, they have, they hook up, they have consensual sex, and then he ghosts her. That last part's kind of shitty, but it's not cancel worthy, right. and it's not illegal. No. Like, if you weren't dating Monsoon and you were dating someone, you were like, oh, I ghosted her, I would be like, ah, it's not cool, but it's none of my business, but I wouldn't be like, I've got to find a new Let's Play host, <laughs> this guy ghosts people. Um, no, I mean, it's, uh feel like... Uh, it's shitty. It's a bad thing to do. But if right. you're hooking up with uh, somebody with some amount of quote unquote celebrity, I feel like it's a bit of a different lifestyle. Right. You know. But the this it, it, basically what happened was this fake story came out, right? Uh, and everyone. Everyone who doesn't like Game Grumps was like, "Yeah, fuck them." And then every like, and then there was a bunch of other people who were like, just got the like, the the front of the story, and they were like, "Oh, well, fuck that guy, right?" Right. Um, well, that's what I was saying. I forget what the last thing that happened was. Uh, oh, uh, t- 
Tomarello from uh, Rage Against the Machine. Yes, if yeah. If you don't have the facts, you're really affecting people's lives. Right. Because uh, that's literally important. That's There's literally, a responsibility. That's literally what happened. That uh, a, a fake story was being shared around the internet, and now uh, I can only assume that Game Grumps is losing views and right. fans and subsequently money. Um, and um, if you went, if you go to like Aaron's Twitter, because Dan doesn't have a Twitter, but if you go to like Aaron's Twitter, all the replies are people supporting them. But if you go basically anywhere else, it's a bunch of people being like, "Yeah, fuck Dan." They didn't do like, they didn't do like a video like this is not. But uh, Dan did appear in an interview uh, for like a website where he was basically like, "This isn't true," and I. I feel like he only did that because he felt like he had to. Like, I have a feeling that Dan is very old school. Um, a lot of the internet is really new to him in, 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 a, in a number of ways. So I feel like rather than, like, making a video and being like, here's the receipts, here's why it's true, I think he did what he felt like he needed to do, which he went to a news outlet, or they went to him, and he was like, nah, it's not true. Leave me yeah. alone now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like... If it's not true, then that's all you need to do, really. As far as I'm concerned, it just sucks that, at least on a on a on a on some sort of level, this person who, as far as I can tell, did nothing wrong. Like I said, he did ghost someone, and if he's done it before, he'll probably do it again in sense. Right, uh, and that sucks. But it's not career ending. No, um, I mean we know people who live that lifestyle. Yeah, you know? and it's not. The one I would live. No. But. And it's also, it's one of those things, it's like, do I respect it? Not really. Uh, is it any of my business? No. Exactly. That's that's what I was <laughs> saying in my in my analogy. I've had people, I've been in bands with like that. <laughs> and um, it's none of my business. Right. Yeah. We're actually just talking about that situation at practice right before uh, this podcast. We had a stalker situation, as you know. Uh, with one of the guys in the band. Oh yes, yes we did. And it's because of that exact exact thing, mm -hmm. that exact reason. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that it's shitty, but it's right. definitely not. Um. It's just I just wanted to, I just wanted to push the conversation forward that we were having last time when we were speaking about Tom right. Morello about like get the facts can straight. Cancel culture is I think going to go down in history ultimately as a good thing because it's weeded out a lot of shitheads, right? Yeah. But just use it appropriately. Don't do it just because you, like, just because you dislike Game Grumps right. doesn't mean that you should, one, go digging for stuff to cancel them on, and two, <laughs> makes, basically make stuff up to well, get that, them canceled. That's the thing is, it'll only go down as a good thing in history if people don't abuse it. And right. There's definitely, there's definitely been cases of that. Ultimately, it's done some great stuff, but if it starts getting abused, it might, it, it might destroy what it set out to do. Right. Um, yeah. And then nobody will believe anything. You know, right. I feel like it could go the other way where it's like... Well, I don't know, so let that person be that person. You <laughs> right. know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, it it can't be abused like that. Because then you've got people who aren't fans of Game Grumps and don't give a shit, right, who hear the news like, Dan is a shithead, and it's like, oh, interesting. So next time Game Grumps comes up in conversation, maybe the person they're talking to is like, I was watching Game Grumps the other day, and they're like, I heard that Dan's a shithead. And then this <laughs> person's like, really? And then they lose a fan. And that's as simple as that. Right. Uh, also, something that happened this week to me, uh, Danny Trejo, do you know who Danny Trejo yes, is? Yes, I do know Danny Trejo, uh, personally. He is confirmed. I'm just kidding. He is canonically a better singer than Kermit the Frog, because that's who was voted off Mass Singer episode three. Awesome. <laughs> Kermit the Frog, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Danny Trejo, huh? Yeah, Danny Trejo was voted off of Group One second. Crazy. Which means that he is a better singer than Kermit the Frog, <laughs> as according to the mass singer audience and judges. Um, <laughs> you know his Spy Kids role, right? Yeah. 
you know the movie Machete. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, I know that. It's effed up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the same director, right? I. It's got to be, don't right? Know. Probably. Um, that guy's crazy. That guy makes the best films. <laughs> Danny Trejo has a cute Animal Crossing island. Oh my God! I know, right? <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't think, <laughs> but he does. That's what I want to say. I don't care who's a better singer between <laughs> Kermit the Frog and Danny Trejo. I want to know who has a better Animal Crossing Danny Island, a- Danny Trejo or Brie Larson. Get Ooh. at me. I'll I'll start this shit. <laughs> what do you mean Animal Crossing is a year old and we don't care anymore? When is he going to be in Marvel? Has he not appeared in Marvel once? I don't think so. I feel like he's one of the. I feel like there's been a lot of huge actors who have done super tiny yeah. things in Marvel. Yeah. And I feel like. Danny, I feel like I assumed Danny Trejo had already done that, but I guess not. I don't think so. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, I think Danny Trejo might have been on Agents of Shield. Oh, well, I think he, I would, yeah, I would. I know. think he might have played a bartender on Agents of Shield. Don't hold me to that. The dude's in everything, so I might be <laughs> thinking about something else. But I'm pretty sure he was in Agents of Shield. Um, a news. show that I would not uh, recommend to anybody. <laughs> news. News. Uh, all right, here it comes. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Black Widow was delayed again. <laughs> because, fuck, we forgot. We here at Marvel forgot how to do it. But they did figure out they have a, a whole streaming platform that they could put it on. Did they? Are they? Yep. That's good. They said it'll do be Do I have out to pay 30 bucks for it? You bet your ass you do, well, bucko. Well, I'm not gonna then. I think I will. I think I will for Black Widow. If because I'm not gonna go see it in the theaters right now. I mean, but what I'm saying is, isn't it gonna... Can't you watch Mulan on Disney Plus right now for free? Isn't oh, it officially... You, uh, I'm just saying I'll wait. You'll wait. You'll wait it out. But if you're gonna, if you're gonna dive in, maybe I'll come over well, and, you know and watch it. <laughs> This is definitely the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Could we not all chip in a few bucks and watch this at s- at one of our houses? No, like that's me, a, you, me, and Pauline. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Their their reasoning for the thirty. I just mean during COVID. Oh, oh, you oh, know, right. like no. putting it on, yeah. putting on Disney Plus is because you're supposed to stay home and watch it, right? But you, me, and Pauline, we're in our bubble. The yeah. three of us could watch Black Widow together. Yeah, if let's we do it. Fuck Actually, it. <laughs> no, that's too many people. Okay. Um, I assume once you have it, you have it, right? Because my grandparents watch Marvel now, too. No, I, I, I think once you buy it, you have a certain amount of days to watch it, and oh, then it goes that's away. Oh, that's fine. I'll just cart um, people over. Um, I yeah, because their, their reasoning for the $30 price point was like, well, it's a whole family, and this is right. less than you would pay for tickets, and blah, blah, blah. That's the same bullshit with VHSs, though. I was just going to y- say I know yeah, more right? about this because <laughs> of the Cinematic Relief episode we're about to record. Yeah. So we'll talk about that later. Isn't that the same thing, though? That's, exact- like, that's the first thing I thought of. The logic does not connect. Yeah, it yeah. It didn't then, and it doesn't now. Tune into uh, our Cinematic Relief episode on the documentary The Last Blockbuster to s- figure out what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah, that... Um, I'm just, why is it delayed again, though? Why isn't it? I think to get it on the platform. Uh, it can't be on the platform in I May? think they want to advertise it more. Okay. That it's going to be on Disney+. Plus. Th- I'm not saying it makes sense. I'm just saying so, that's, that w- it'd probably be why to me. Last time they delayed Black Widow, they delayed the entire goddamn MCU. Are they doing that again? They actually, I have dates. Oh, Hold okay. On. Hold on. So wait, they are. They're delaying everything again? I don't, I forget. Uh, to be honest, I haven't followed the dates that closely. Okay. Um, because I knew this shit was going to happen. Right. But here's what I have. July 9th, 2021, Black Widow. Shang-Chi, September 3rd, 2021. Eternals, November 5th, 2021. Oh, so they only delayed Black Widow. Okay. Um, Spider-Man, d- this December. Doctor Strange. Spider-Man, this December? December 17th, 2021. We're going to get four Marvel movies, one in September, one in November, and one in December? Yeah. That's crazy. That's a lot of Marvel. I'm down, but, like, um, man. Doctor Strange, March of next year. Yeah. Thor, May of next year. Yeah. I saw the funniest Twitter post. It was someone who said, they were like, why do all, what do you call it, Disney Plus premium accent? Yeah, access? access. Uh, accent. Um, they were like, why 
why are all the Disney Plus premium access with their their Asian led movies? And it showed a picture of Mulan, Raya the White Dra- the next dra- the Last Dragon, and Black Widow because <laughs> because oh, Scarlett right. Johansson was in Ghost in the Shell, and people like to joke about <laughs> like, look at all these Asian actors, and she's right. there. Uh, it was so funny. I, it took me a sec to to understand to what they it. were. Yeah, um, I feel like I would have seen that meme and I would have been like, "You intolerant pieces <laughs> of shit! What is wrong with you?" Um, okay, so a small bit of news, but something that was important to me. Uh, so you do you know about the Black Adam movie, right? Yes, and that it exists and is coming out eventually. The Rock going to star. The Rock as Black Adam, as we all know, but just in case you don't, Black Adam is Shazam's villain, uh, and they decided to give him his own movie rather than putting him in a Shazam film, Uh, and it's going to star Dwayne The Rock Johnson. They announced a a while ago that there are other characters going to be in that film, and one of them is Dr. Fate, Uh, and I love Dr. Fate. I think he's really cool. I think he's a great character. I thought... Pedro Pascal was playing Dr. Fate in Wonder Woman before they announced who he was playing. Yeah. Um, but they announced who's going to play Dr. Fate, and I'm so excited because it's going to be Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Yeah. Uh, and That's I, funny. I am so excited he's going to do such a good job. <laughs> uh, the end. Um, I'm glad, uh, you know, something that'll probably be talking you know no i'm gonna save that for that cinematic relief episode never mind okay never mind something about james bond yeah yeah but don't worry about it okay um last bit of news that i have yeah i'm gonna um, while you say it i'm gonna look up what i have if any um the first technically new uh suicide squad trailer Oh yeah, I didn't watch it, but I did hear about it. Bruh, it looks so good. Yeah, I I'm very excited. I've 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 been tentatively very excited for this film ever since they announced that James Gunn was making it. Um, but it looks really good. But but but, uh, I I must say, uh, viewer discretion because the the trailer is a what the red band trailer and it's got a lot of gore. Ah. It's got a lot of King Shark related gore. Gotcha. But it looks awesome. I mean, you know, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn is still in it, and you you all know how I feel about that. But it's, uh, it, it uh, you know, uh, uh, my uh, my uh, my my attitude on that is kind of where my attitude is on Jane Foster. Like I didn't like Natalie Portman as Jane Foster, but now she has a good director directing her. Right. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll have a turnaround on a. We'll see. In this movie, I still refuse to watch Birds of Prey. Uh, I, 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 I have. I find myself f- finding no reason to watch Birds of Prey. No, <laughs> but I can't wait for this uh, Suicide Squad movie, which is one of the like every month HBO Max is doing a movie movies. Right. Uh, so that'll be the one in oh, September, if that's the I case, think. And if it's free, maybe I'll tune in. I was not going to go to the theaters to watch this movie though. No, but it you you should watch the trailer. Uh, the trailer was very, as we all know, with the Suicide Squad, if they show like twenty characters, which they definitely do, probably about five or ten of them are gonna die in the right. opening act. Uh, the mo- the trailer was very John Cena heavy. Okay. Uh, because he's in that movie. Um, he was funny though. He I I think, I don't know. I I I think it's gonna be a good movie, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. Cool. Um lot of lots of interesting uh things. Sylvester Stallone's gonna be in that movie. Wasn't in the trailer. No idea who he's playing, but he's gonna be in that film. So he's officially been in DC and Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. And he was Judge Dredd. Um But yeah, that's all the news I have. I have one more thing. Okay. Spock Spot Spock? Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Coming to theaters with new enhanced version. Oh, yeah. I, I heard about this. I was excited, but it's just going to look better. There's not going to yeah. be new scenes or anything. Yeah. Um. So that's cool. I'm a huge Scott Pilgrim fan. It's definitely up there on in my in my top five favorite movies of all time. Um, I actually just recently, uh, because of the anniversary, Scott Pilgrim, uh, all the comics went on sale. So I just got the complete, all of it in full color. For like fifteen bucks, nice. Uh, digitally, of course. Um, Are they trying to make uh, Scott Pilgrim 
the highest grossing film of all time. <laughs> oh my god, I know. We talked about that last time, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Avatar, but the good one. Um <laughs> is what the podcast was called. Um Yeah, I that's exciting. Uh I'm probably not gonna go see it. I've never been the I've Especially n- now. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Um I've also never been the big like like oh, it's in a higher resolution? Well, I've got to see it like that. Yeah. Obviously, there is a resolution that if it gets low enough, I'm like, I can't watch this. <laughs> um, But as far as like, do I want to watch the D- – do I want to buy the DVD? Ah, oh, but the Blu-ray is like $10 more. I It just it's never mattered to right. me. So no, I'm there if they you. were like interviews and never seen before seen stuff, I, I might – have considered it but if it's just going to look better like good for them i hope they get some money right uh and i hope the people who see it like it but uh yeah yeah and you know i guess i i take it back a little it it really depends if it was a super old movie that was like enhanced visuals i might go see it right but scott pilgrim looked really good when it yeah, came it out fine. and it still looks great like it holds up the special effects are very cheesy and comic booky on purpose right uh, so I feel like they're always gonna look good. Um, so yeah, fair enough. That's my uh, that's my take on that. Will that do it for us? Yeah, I think that'll do it for us. Sorry for the short one. We just have a lot to do today, and we want to uh, get it all done and make it really good for y'all. So if we don't have uh anything more to talk about, then why push it? Um, so please, please, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Follow us on Twitch. Uh, the link to the Twitch. Uh, t- uh, channel is in the description. Uh, our theme song is "Sunny Day" by Froggy and the Friendship. If you like it, uh, you can find it on their SoundCloud. I recommend it. It's a really good song. I have to listen to it every time I edit this uh, <laughs> this podcast, and I uh, it's good. <laughs> it's a good song. Uh, and our Let's Play theme song is, of course, the eight bit version of that, also composed by them, also on their SoundCloud. And until next time. I've been Thunder. I'm Lightning. Stay safe, stay clean, and we'll see you next time. Hi. Let's keep this brief. For the month of April, we'll be conducting our biggest contest and giveaway yet. The goal? Help us reach 200 subscribers on YouTube and 35 followers on Twitch. Here's what you can get if these goals are met. Please make sure to follow, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.